I don't even know what I'm getting myself into, considering the fact that I only played about 30 seconds of this. Anyway, greetings ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Awesome Sean here, and welcome to a recreation of Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. Yes, I did say recreation, it's, uh, considering the fact that I only played about 30 seconds of it, it's not what you think, um, this Street Fighter here uses, uh, CVS. Uh, Capcom vs. SNK sprites, so, yeah, and this music is depressing, but anyway, I'm going with the boy Akuma, as I always do in fighting games, let's see what's going on here, oh, cool, this looks kind of interesting, a little training bad segment here, take that, what, the back hits back, what kind of, <laughs> what kind of crap is that the back hits back, okay, yeah, um, folks, I am going into this blindly, um, I've only seen a few uh, screenshots here and there, but that wasn't enough to really go on. Um, I like going into stuff like this blind. It lets me see what I can experience for myself. So, first match is Ryu. Yep, CVS sprites like I seen from the screenshots there. Ah, yeah, Duke into the face. Uh, whoa, he's okay. So, is is this only gonna be one one round? Hmm. Hopefully not. Let's see what happens. Take that. Yeah. Get that working. Okay, we got some super combos here. I like it so far. It got that uh that MVC kind of um style to it. I like games that do that. You know, from my uh perspective. Oh, okay. All right, that was kind of quick. Whatever. All right, on to the next fighter then. Just whatever. That was that was pathetically quick. Evil Ryu. Hmm. I don't remember Eva Ryu being in the original Street Fighter 2, but then again, this is kind of a recreation, so... Oh, the music kind of changed a little bit, and I, uh, the whole scenery changed. This is nice. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> okay, Eva Ryu. Okay, that's weird. I don't... It must be a glitch or something. That's kind of weird, but... <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Eva Ryu, ah, oh, get off my back. Yeah, combos all day. Gotta love it. Really gotta love. Look at that battle. Oh, nice counter. Nice counter. Yeah, this is uh, this ain't so bad. From um, what I'm experiencing right now. Oh, yeah, buddy, got out. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is um, this actually isn't pretty. This actually is pretty fun so far. Yeah, Akuma. Uh, yeah, it's giving me all the Street Fighter 2 vibes. It's just like an updated port. Like, not like the HD, but it's kind of nice. I don't actually mind this so far. E Honda, let's go. Japanese bathhouse. I want to go to Japan. Oh, yeah, take these. Uh, uh, Y'all know uh, Akuma is my favorite Street Fighter. Gotta be hitting it with Akuma again. I know you folks are probably tired of seeing Akuma, but, you know, he's my favorite fighter, folks. I love Akuma. I don't know why I just do. I don't know. Maybe I'm just different from the norm. I don't know. Because, um, everybody else likes, uh, either, um, Ryu or Ken. And, um, what's that guy's name from third? Sean. Yeah, that guy, um, Sean. He's okay, too, but I just, Akuma, man. Even though he, he's more over, um, power. Even though he trades that for health in some games, especially it's kind of noticeable in um, CVS 2. And oh, okay, <laughs> I, w I wasn't even like I was kind of like blanketed out of that fight. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's kind of like that uh, CVS 2 Shinokuma. Yeah, but e I'm fighting E Honda again. Okay, the only thing what? Okay, so apparently it's just huh. That's kind of okay whatever um yeah the, the only thing that the only difference that changes the kind of the music in the scenery a little bit that's it so okay that's oh, whatever like they, they got me a little baffled but whatever whoa whatever works but it, yeah yeah take that yeah keeping them back with these uh they're not even called hadoukens for akuma they're like uh goku go Kuden or something like that? It, it's weird. It's not Hadoukens, though. He calls him something else. But, um, yeah, that was kind of weird fighting the same guy twice. That usually doesn't happen in Mugens. But, whatever. Like I said, I, I'm 
Maybe I should have just uh, test played this before I actually tried it out, but I just really wanted to get into this because uh, provided by the uh, uh, the screenshots that I've seen, it looked interesting. So, yep, just kind of wanted to quickly get into this right quick. And Oh, Blanca, you are nuts, dude. Jeez, you are quick. Your sprite's different, too, from what I remember. Does it really look like that in CBS? I haven't played CBS in quite a while, at least for this channel anyway. It's been, what, about a year or so? And, ah, man, whoa, Blanca actually giving me a challenge here. That's kind of refreshing, actually. Whoa, yeah, that was close. I like how, um, how this, uh, this is Mugen. This has to be, uh, because I didn't really check out the Mugen version. This has to be Mugen, um, 1.1, because I only remember, uh, Mugen 1.1 having the zoom-in feature for the stages, which it's doing right now. So that's kind of, uh, that's kind of neat that they implement implemented that into this so wait a minute i'm fighting blanca again okay so from what i'm seeing experiencing with just these two matches right here it looks like i'm gonna be fighting each character twice which i hope doesn't happen because that's gonna be weird and that's gonna make this playthrough twice as long as it needs to be uh considering the fact if i'm taking on all fighters that's gonna be at least about what 20 something matches because uh, it seems like I'm fighting twice, but each time I fight them is with different mu um, music and different aesthetics. So if that's the case, then why didn't the, uh, jeez man, geez, give me some, uh, give me some room. But if that's the case, then why didn't the, uh, creator, uh, didn't like just put in two normal round, two normal match types instead of them making one mount, uh, one round a piece and it seems like the difficulty with Blanca has increased as well which is kind of BS but you know what whatever man you, you gotta expect this with Mugen sometimes like the difficulty uh, just hops around especially if you don't change it like if you don't change the difficulty within it sometimes you have to do that with games because uh, people don't know about um, like when they're creating an AI or whatnot but it's just whatever, you know, but I pretty much kept the difficulty on what I always keep the uh, difficulty in Mugen's. I always keep the uh, difficulties, just to let you folks know, I always keep it on medium. I don't put it on easy, I don't put it on hard, just medium, because medium feels right to me. Um, and that's when I'm playing any type of uh, fighting game, folks. I'm not a pro, um, I wouldn't claim I'm a pro. I know I'm not a pro, <laughs> because if I was a, if I was a pro, I wouldn't be getting a uh, combo like this, <laughs> but uh, I'm just a casual fighter. Um, been playing fighting games for nearly all my life. Love it. Uh, it's a great uh, escape goat for me, especially like um, because I play. Uh, this is gonna be another KO. Oh, clutch! Yes. But um, especially like uh, I know some gateway for people is like uh. RPGs, but it can spend hours upon hours of playing that, and it's kind of a escape for them. But for me, it's always been fighting games, folks. I mean, my first fighting game, as I can remember, was Street Fighter 2. Yeah, I remember uh, playing Street Fighter 2 on the um, Super Nintendo, playing that with my cousin. I remember that growing up. And actually, my second fighting game series was uh, Mortal Kombat. The first Mortal Kombat I played was not the original first one, was actually was Trilogy for the PlayStation. Um, because I did have a PlayStation, you know, growing up, so I was able to experience that. And yeah, me at like 8 years old playing Mortal Kombat Trilogy, my mom, <laughs> my mom, she's young, like a young mom. So she really didn't care what type of video games I, that she was buying for me, as long as it kept me happy in Shadow. Is he from, is he from, uh, whoa, what was that? Is he from, um, I think he's from Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, he's from Marvel vs. Capcom. It's supposed to be like some alternate version of Charlie or something like that. Whoa, he's quick. Jeez. Whoa. Like, stop zooming around. The, uh, you are, he is really abusing that, uh, uh, zoom feature or whatever he has but um, the good thing is I only got to fight uh, Gal at least one time so 
So I guess this is like uh, if they have an alternative version of the character, they're going to use it. That's what I'm coming up with so far because uh, I only fought Ryu once. So, oh no, if they have Shadow in here, are they going to have uh, Shadow Chan Lee? Because if they have Shadow, whoa! Because if they have uh, Shadow Chan Lee, this is going to be a problem because, whoa! Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Because if they have a Shadow Chun Lee, this is gonna be a problem for me. I already can feel it. If they do car, is this the where you beat out the car? Is that what they mean by car? Okay, yeah, that's what they mean by car. Okay, cool. So it seems like they have a. This is pretty cool. They actually have a mini games implemented in here, which I really wasn't expecting. I mean, kind of, but uh. Oh, they're gonna have a. Um, did he come out on the uh, the original Hagar, I think it was, or some sprite that looked like Hagar? That comes out like my car. <laughs> That'd be cool if they did, but uh, I don't, oh, perfect. Man, that car's destroyed. Man, I wonder who car was that? Is, did they just find some, like, <laughs> did they just find some empty person's car, or vacant car, or junk car even? Oh, Ken. Or junk, uh, so if they have Ken in this. Do they have his alter ego as well? I'm kind of interested to see if they do. That's a nice sunset back there, it looks like. Or a crimson, uh... No, that's not a moon. It can't be a moon. It's, it's a sunset. Uh, Sean, you being a dumbass. But anyway, uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh... Dang, I lost my train of thought. I forgot what, actually what I was gonna say here. Like, talking and playing video games is hard! Jeez. Like... Cause, you gotta make some type of commentary with it at least. I mean, you guys don't want to get bored to death if you're not bored already. Uh, take that! But, um, yeah, this game right here so far is pretty good. Um, no complaints so far. Well, yeah! There we go, just that last... Ah, uh, you want to do a combo and hit tap. <laughs> oh, man, if, it would have been cool if the, um, the barrels actually were destroyed doing that. That would have been great. That would have been a nice effect, actually. Oh, so it does have Violet Ken on here. Hmm. That's Violet Ken, folks. If you don't know about him, he's kind of like uh, Ken's alter ego. Kind of, not really. He's kind of like a brainwash with psycho power or something like that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but he's like, I know he's brainwashed. He's, he, he doesn't have like the, uh, the evil Hado or whatever that Ryu has. He's like brainwashed. And he has, like, psycho power. That makes him, like, um, jeez. That's supposed to make him, like, uh, stronger or whatnot. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you jumped over it. Oh, okay, that's new. i never seen, uh, any alliteration of Violet can do that. And trust me, I play Mugen a lot. <laughs> I really do. Um, I don't know why I play Mugen a lot. It's just something fun. You know, it's free to play. Uh, you don't have to worry about going out. People are always, uh, like, w and what I mean by going out is, like, uh, going out and buying games. Because people are always making this stuff, and it's great that it's free, so. That's, uh, ah, oh, Chun Lee, don't have your alter ego on here. Yeah, I, as I stated before, I always did bad against, uh, Shadow Lady. I think that was her name is. Shadow Chun Lee or something like that. I always did bad against her. Don't know why, I just always did. But anyway, the music on this uh, is pretty great, actually. Um, I was just expecting the regular Street Fighter 2 mu uh, music. But this, these remixes in um, alternate music is pretty great, actually. So I'm enjoying this game alone just for that. So um, the author here is... Um, put a lot of dedication into this recreation so I appreciate them for that this is turning out to be pretty fun so far just hope that it doesn't uh, get too complicated and if it's following the path that I think it's following this is probably gonna turn out to be pretty long so I hope you guys got your popcorn or um, skittles or whatever you eat for a snack ready cuz uh, if I'm thinking what I'm thinking that it's gonna happen then this is gonna be quite a part or quite a playthrough, so, uh, I'm so used to saying part. <laughs> yeah, but, um, you are permanently crippled, so, yeah, I just noticed on that, so, uh, chun -Li is, so it seems like I'm fighting chun -Li twice again, thank goodness, oh, that's cool, it seems like it's nighttime and the shop that was there before is closed, 
And this music is great. I think this music's from Street Fighter 4, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, I like this. I got the little nightlight back there, and the shops are closed and stuff like that. And the moon out. Aw, oh, man, that's a great touch. But, couldn't you implement it that into, like, round 2 or something like that? I guess, uh... Mugen's not there yet, or the author didn't know how to do it. Like, uh, stage, stage transitions, I believe that's what it's called. So yeah, I don't think Mugen's there yet. But Mugen's, um, it's a, the great thing about Mugen is that it's constantly improving. So, you know, they find bugs and stuff to fix. Oh, she made me dizzy. Wow. Jeez. Wow, that was, oh, just the taps did it. Wow, but um, anyway, yeah, Mugen's constantly uh, improving and all that stuff. Aw, oh, sick, Eef. I always hated fighting you in Street Fighter 2, bro. Like, for real. I always did, man. Big muscle-headed. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully I have a better, um, um, better time uh, fighting you here. The good thing about you, Zangief, is that I like your stage music, so, you know, you made up for it with that. But, yeah, this zoom feature is crazy now that I'm actually, uh, oh, now that I'm actually paying attention to it. Oh, man, that kick, I always hated that kick. Did he have that in, uh, Super Street Fighter 2? You know, when they started giving him, um, super moves and stuff like that? I don't remember because I haven't actually played, um, much of, uh, Super Street Fighter 2, actually. Um, the only, uh, alliterations of Street Fighter 2 I played was, like, Turbo and the World Warrior and um, there was another one that I can't think of right now. But what? What? Oh, Mecha Zangief. This dude didn't make an appearance to uh, Marvel vs. Capcom as well, I think. But this guy is just as uh, this guy's just as annoying, I think. Like he, oh man, he has some uh, crazy moves actually. Like that defers himself for the. Uh, Whoa, from the original Zangief. Like, um, if I remember correctly, like, Mecha Z Zangief got, like, uh, well, the version that, uh, I've seen. Would you stop doing that? The version that I've seen, uh, like, has, uh, him shooting rockets out of his mouth and stuff like that. And he always made, like, mechanical noises and stuff like, whoa. That was instant, like, a punt. That was instant. That's crazy. Like, the computer is always doing, like, some crazy crap. And, man, I was desperate there for a second because I actually thought he actually had that round. So, wow. Like, the computer is always doing something, like, extra and on demand. Uh, Dawson. I don't think you have any alternative form forms, buddy. Oh, this is nice. His stage right here. But, anyway, yeah, um... What was I talking about? I actually forgot what I was talking about for a second. <laughs> and it's always like that with me. I always forget what I've been talking about. I've been like that for a while. Just like, <laughs> I've actually go into a conversation and I'll forget what I'm talking about. And then I'll be like, what did I just say? And it tends to piss off who I'm, who I'm talking with. Like, it doesn't really matter who I'm talking with. So, <laughs> Wow, like Dawson, like Dawson isn't that hard. I'm actually able to hold a ste steady, like uh, I'm able to actually talk to you guys about this because he's not uh, giving me that much of a problem. And it's pretty cool that this game has um, power charges in that, because believe me, that wasn't in the original. Um, that wasn't in the original Street Fighter 2. Matter of fact, I don't know what game did that originate from power charging. Because the first game I ever had experience with power charging was, um, what was it, CVS? Uh, yeah, the first CVS game. So that was the only game that I remember that power charges come from. And then, like, every single, ever since that, like, every other game has, um, power charging. So that's pretty cool. That, um, and power charging, just in case you don't know, fills up your super meter by pressing, uh, two buttons simultaneously together so all oh, the elephants are out and it's daytime so that's pretty cool um yeah power charging like i just noticed something as well and it's really sad and i'm just now noticing this but where the heck is the super meter bar like i know like <laughs> all this time like where is the super meter bar i'm pretty sure it's implemented uh, otherwise we wouldn't be, wouldn't be able to do super moves but uh it'd be nice to see the super meter bar 
I guess they're really going after the feel of um, Street Fighter 2. If they wanted to do that, then they should have took the uh, Super Street Fighter 2, considering the fact that they're taking some of the elements from that, it seems like. Final Fight. What is this? What is this? Is this another, uh, like, kind of minigame, like? Okay, it seems like it is, since... Yeah, it is a minigame. Okay, I can tell already. Wow. This is, uh... I, I don't play that many Mugen minigames. Maybe I should do, like, a, uh... Like a Let's Look At when it's, uh, containing to, like, uh... Mini Mugen, uh... Like, mini Mugen games or whatever. Mini games. My phone is just going off like crazy. So hopefully the mic didn't pick that up. But if it did, somebody messaging me should have turned it off. But whatever. It happens. It happens day to day. You get messages and all that crap. But anyway, yeah, this is actually kind of fun. Yeah, I'm having a hard time trying to... Like when it's more than one people coming on the direction. It's kind of a hard time to actually like choose a side which you want to attack. Because the, uh, my character is kind of auto-adjusting to the left and right so it's kind of I'm trying to stay on one side actually whoa okay that was kind of weird like <laughs> everybody else just had a heart attack and just gave up on life that's pretty weird actually okay T-Hawk getting into the uh Super Street Fighter territory that's another good game that I probably won't be playing because the difficulty on there is just bananas um, Street Fighter, old school Street Fighter 2, is just, like, kudos to whoever, um, played that and completed an arcade run of that. I can't do it for some reason. It's just too tough for me. Um, maybe one of these days I'll actually sit down and tackle it, but until then, no, I'm perfectly fine with this remake thing right here, so. <laughs> Definitely won't be doing that anytime soon, I guarantee it, because... Man, I don't want to get so frustrated, and um, I know YouTube has this new thing that's going out about, uh, which I really found um, kind of stupid, kind of, uh, with the cursing thing that they got going on. Just, uh, so many people having YouTube problems right now, but I kind of really don't care about that. But, yeah, just people having YouTube issues, like, uh, how they can't cuss or something like that, or they can, but they gotta keep it at a minimum or something like that, but I never really curse this much because the only time I really do it is when I'm playing games like this and I'm trying to learn to keep that to a minimum because you know hearing myself on playback is just yeah it's not right but I'm, I'm trying to keep my stuff uh, kid friendly you know but whatever it's just I'm trying to keep it all for uh, appropriate for all ages pretty much because um, I know some people don't like to hear cursing all too much you know especially since you know everyone does it but some people don't like to do it and that's perfect like some people don't like it that's perfectly fine i'm just trying to work on me well, as far as like raging out on these games <laughs> because oh man when i rage i rage hard so uh actually i've been doing pretty good so far you know and uh seahawk is pushing my patience i'm oh jeez i'm really running the boundaries with this guy yeah there we go um i hope you guys are so far enjoying this um because i i, I am it's really not that bad whoa what the heck okay not cool dude uh the, the bird turns on fire did did the bird do that in the original street fighter super street fighter i don't remember um because i know super street fighter has like uh let me go ahead and get that out the way while you're doing it too the best time to do a power charge is when the computer's doing a power charge because they're not gonna rush you down or anything like that. Just a couple more hits. Ugh, that should do it. Yes. Yes. All right. I was able to pull off. I think that move right there takes up uh, two of your bars if you was able to see it. Oh, Fei Long, you never really, Fei Long, you never really gave me in any problems. Like even in the original Super Street Fighter, you never gave me any problems because your attacks, man, your attacks are kind of predictable. Yeah, like, Fei Long's attacks to me is pretty kind of, uh, predictable. At least to me. And speaking of, uh, predictable, uh, <laughs> how, how many of you folks are getting ready for that, uh, Geese Street, uh, it, that Geese and, uh, Geese Howard in Tekken 7? Man, that was quite the announcement, um, a couple of months ago, uh, when they decided to put him in the game. That's 
pretty incredible, actually, that they decided to put an SNK character in a Namco game. Like, we always wanted the Namco slash SNK crossover. Well, actually, what we really wanted is, like, Virtual Fighter cross uh, Tekken or uh, Soul Calibur. <laughs> what kind of pose was that? Or, uh, <laughs> or Soul Calibur versus Tekken or something like that. Either... Either one of those would really work, in my eyes anyway. Uh, especially the Virtual Fighter in Tekken. I've always wanted that crossover. Um, it just works to me because their characters are similar. You have to change the button layout a little bit. I don't know which button layout they would go with either. Um, because, of course, uh, Virtual Fighter has a different layout than uh, Tekken. So, I wonder which uh, layout they would go with. Per um, personally, I wouldn't mind if they go with the Tekken because I'm used to it. I think uh, everybody else, but I wouldn't mind if they went the Virtual Fighter way either. So, either either way is fine with me. It doesn't matter. So, I don't mind uh, either which way they go. And Phelon, you trying to, uh, Phelon, you trying to get these combos in, son? Ah, all I gotta do is hit you. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. He has such a funny way of getting knocked out. You're permanently crippled. Except your defeat. I know Akuma doesn't sound like that. Oh, Cammy. I always liked that, um, Cammy's, uh, music. I don't know why. I always did. I forgot what the name of her theme is. It's like, uh, Army Girl or something like that. I'm probably totally wrong. Uh, <laughs> let me know in the comments, uh, Cammy's theme song name. I'm probably gonna be too lazy to look it up myself. So, yeah, if you folks can provide me with that, I appreciate that. And, ah, uh, these, uh, Kuma with these precision, uh, strikes going down there. Ah, uh, man, like, as I stated before, this game got a great combo, uh, combo potential. Like, it has that MVC vibe to it. So, folks, if you, um, if you like MVC, um, you would like this. You really would. Because you could do combos crazy. It's a little too fast pace. Pace? Kill a bee. That must be, uh, Cammy's, uh, alter ego. Uh, it looks like it's her and her doll form. Um, but anyway, um, what was I saying? <laughs> See, there we go again. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you, if the speed must be on, um, because you can change the speed of Mugen. Um, and you can have it to go to, like, a crazy, ridiculous, uh, fast level, almost making the game unplayable. Um, and you can always slow the speed down, although I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Having the speed on normal is just good enough. So, I actually forgot to check the speed. Hmm, I should have did that before actually starting recording, but it's too late now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, these matches have been going on for quite some time. Wow. Like, it was like, just as I thought. So, if we're fighting everybody, this is going to be a long thing, especially uh, how they're doing this format. Let's see what match we're on. 26? And we're just now fighting DJ? Man, how many matches did this thing got? How, how many is it going to go up to? That's the real question. Because um, if we're fighting everybody, I think we're going to get into the 30s. Maybe high tier 30s. I don't know. But DJ, uh, <laughs> and if he's watching this, he's probably going to get pissed, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway, because, uh, D, D, uh, DJ to me always looked like my friend D, minus the, uh, the ponytail. <laughs> and, <laughs> like, if I did a, a, a comparison, like a side-by-side -side photo, like, oh man, I might just do that later, uh, just for, like, uh, giggles, like, uh, do it to not not on uh, the video of course but I might just do that later just just on something maybe on my uh, maybe on my Twitter I might just do that I don't know I'm thinking about it I really am <laughs> but oh man DJ is uh he was getting close he was getting close I like uh and I wish they would have did it to this game it probably would have made it funny but um to you to those of you who has played that's a nice sunset to those of you who have played X-Man, ah, X-Man vs. Street Fighter, which I'll probably get to soon as well, do you remember, like, when the uh, person get KO'd, how they get, uh, like, how they bounced off the stage, <laughs> and it made it kind of hilarious? I wish they, uh, did that here on this, but, of course, that'd probably be kind of hard to, um, implement, but I always find that hilarious, how they just bounced off the stage like that. It's like, 
Oh man, and I remember uh, watching the uh, when the Super Gaming Brothers when they did a uh, the X Men Street Fighter uh, gameplay. Nah, oh, man, they <laughs> they was having a ball with that game. It's just that game is fun, folks. It really is. Like I'll probably get into that soon enough. As soon as I can um, find a disc for it, it, I know it's gonna run for quite some money. Uh, Yes, man versus Street Fighter game. M. Haggard. Mike, Mike Haggard's in this? Is he? Ah, oh, man. I'll, yeah, he is. I always love uh, Mike Haggard's music from um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It's so upbeat. I know it's taking, um, like, cues. It, it sounds almost like Cody's theme, but it's pretty good. It really is. And we're fighting in this office at, uh, at daytime. It's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm guessing the next stage is going to be us fighting in this office at night. I'm just guessing. So hopefully that guess is right. Oh man, this music is great. It really is. I'm trying to stop myself from humming it because it's really good. And you just put out a... This might have our spri uh, sprites not that bad. Even though it does have... Uh, look like it does have some uh, remnants of Hulk. But it's pretty good on its own right. So I do at least appreciate the work they try to put into the, the sprite. It's not bad at all, actually. So I can at least appreciate it. So, are we fighting at night? Uh, I can't tell so far. It looks like it. We'll probably have to move along the stage a little bit. But, um, this stage right here, I think I have this on my, um, uh, my own personal Mugen. Yeah, it is night. <laughs> just, <laughs> just as I thought. But, um, yeah, I, I think I have this stage on my own personal Mugen, which I will be, um, it's a totally rebuilt Mugen. It's different from the one on my uh, Instrumental King channel. Um, it's a personal Mugen I've been working on for about a month or two. I'm going to be putting it on this channel so you'll be able to see some uh, content that I put on this. It's a tag Mugen. So um, I'm going to be able to show that off pretty soon here, folks. And hmm, it looks like I'm, I'm getting into the bosses now, Street Fighter. So that's pretty good. It looked like I'll be coming close to this soon. But, uh... Barog Street Fighter. Oh man, if they made a uh, a Street Fighter 5 version of Bar Barog from uh, Mugen, that'd be insane. That really would. That mean that person had to custom made that sprite from the ground up. That'd be so crazy. That'd be insane too. That'd be actually that'd be so awesome actually. Like if they started to make. Um, to make uh, Street Fighter 5 characters for Mugen. I mean, technically there are already Street Fighter 5 uh, characters for Mugen, such as uh, Rashid, I think that's his name, and um, what's that one chick name? I can't think of it right now, but they do have some um, Mugen 5 characters. There's a few of them, but they are, uh, they do exist. So if you ever thought about making a, a Mugen and wanted some Street Fighter 5 characters, um, you don't have to look hard. Um, they're there, but they're very few in numbers. That's what I know for sure. Um, they do have a lot of Street Fighter 4 characters, folks. Um, you can't miss that. And I'm thinking about, um, if you folks are down for it, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll probably do it anyway, but let me know if you folks are down for a Mugen version of Street Fighter 4. Let me know if you're down for that. And if possible, a Mugen Street Fighter, uh, a Mugen version of Street Fighter 3, if that's possible, I have to find a look. But I do know that there's a uh, Mugen version of uh, Street Fighter, uh, of Street Fighter 4. There is a Mugen version, so I'll be bringing that to you as soon as I can find it, as soon as I record the footage for it, for it, of course. So I hope you folks uh, look forward to that, because I'm gonna try to bring more Mugen content on this channel more playthroughs uh just more awesomeness and at the time of this recording i still do not have another playthrough on a black uh back burner that's going to be more difficult now um trying to pump out these videos for you folks because of the job change i had um but i'm going to be able to you know at least uh two three videos a week it's not going to be frequent as it was but i'm going to try to at least pump it out for you folks as uh much as I can so I want to go at least a week um, I don't at least one to two videos a week I don't want to leave you guys in the dark too long so if I'm able to do that then I'm one happy camper one happy pup whoa Vega you 
pretty much did not put up a challenge. You got like one hit off me, dude. It's pretty sad on your part. Yeah, you got like one hit off me. But uh, let's see if you can bring it back in round two, which um, I'm pretty sure you're not. But this music right here is kind of odd, but whatever. It, it's Vega. Vega always had uh, good music, in my opinion. Um, if you folks uh, want, like, there's a metal, uh, metal guitar, or, uh, I'm sorry, a metal, uh, version of, uh, Street, uh, jeez, there's a metal version of Vega's theme from Street Fighter 2, and it's so good, it melts the ears, it really is. So, um, if you folks are, uh, curious, go ahead and go on YouTube. Um, after you're done watching this video, and look up that version of, uh, Vega's theme. It's metal cover. It's a metal cover version of his theme. It's really good. I like it. I like it, at least, so. Oh, Vega, you, you did even worse than the last round. <laughs> oh, no. Butt face to God. Ugh. Man, this is gonna be frustrating. I always had a tough time fighting Sagat. I'm pretty sure everybody else in this video had a tough time watching. Look at that! Aw, oh, man. This is gonna be some hurt already. Look at that. Just continuous. Tiger strikes. Ah, uh, Jeez. Give me some cover room, man. I actually have to duck on this dude. Uh, and it begins. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, dude. You serious? Spam. Captain Spam, man. I hate when either AI or people just spam. So hopefully I can spam you in this corner with these, uh, nah, you don't need to charge up, man. Hopefully, ah, uh, man, just look at that, man. Look at that. Just, ah, uh, I can get those parries in when I can, but look at that, man. I just have to keep continuously getting those, uh, pot shots in. That's eventually what did it, and yeah, disappear off the face of the earth. Ah, uh, man, hopefully your AI didn't increase with this next round, because if it does, man, I think I'm gonna blow a fuse, but I like this nighttime, um, scenario. Ah, uh, man, and there you go. With that BS, man. Look at that. Oh, man. Like, come on, man. Are you gonna stop anytime soon? Look at that. Char cover your charge. Then doing the tiger uh, tiger shots. I think that's what it's called. At least that's what I think I'm hearing. But look at that. Okay. Okay. So I can roll, which I should have been doing in the first round in the first place. Ugh. There we go. So if I continuously roll and get him in the corner, I should be good. As far as like doing a couple of air combos on him, so it seems like he can't do anything. And come on, combat boys. Okay, all right, good. Oh man. <laughs> okay, M Bison, this has to be it. Um, it, I don't see anybody else being after M Bison, so this has to be the last, uh, the last stretch right here. And good, this is actually coming to an end. At all these rounds. I think that said 36. 36 matches. That's it, it crazy. Balls to the wall insane. Oh man, but Bison, you barely giving me any trouble at all. I always had a um such a hard time playing with Bison. Um for some reason. I just always did. Like uh Bison's uh don't get me wrong, Bison is a oh that was that was okay. So is there another match after this? Hopefully not. Ah, okay. All right, let me let me get ready. Okay, let's do this. Ah oh, man. Um, what I was saying about Bison is like uh, he's always been kind of a complex character. But enough of Bison. Whoa, enough of Bison. I'm fighting myself. I'm kind of confused because we're both wearing the same color, so I don't know which one is me. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. So. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I, okay, I got a hint of which one is me now, okay, cool, but, um, oh, man, so, I, I kind of had a feeling that Akuma was gonna be, but I wasn't really sure, because, like, in the old Street Fighter games, you had to meet a certain criteria to actually get to Akuma, you had to have, like, perfects and all that other stuff, like, in and around in the super move and all that good jazz, but, Oh man, it's coming clutch, clutch! Oh, game over. So I think that's okay. All right, that's it. So um, anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Have a great day and take care.